Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of our flagship television show, EWF Adrenaline! Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to EWF Adrenaline this week, and we are streaming at you. We're coming at you live for the YouTube subscribers to the channel on YouTube for the European Wrestling Foundation. My name is Royal Ambassador, and I'll be taking you through all the action this week. Six great matches, uh, and we've got tag team action, six man tag team action, and much, much more this week on the show. And as you can see, kicking things off this week, we have the Assassin, and he will be taking on one half of the Brothers in Blood tag team, the final boss. And we've got a lot of action to bring you. And we are now uh, leading up to, in just uh, four and a half weeks away, our next pay-per-view called uh, uh, Hardcore Revolution. And a lot of hardcore action, extreme action in that pay-per-view uh, on February, Sunday, February the 23rd, folks. And what a show it is going to be. We're going to bring it to you. We're going to be calling all the action here at ringside. But right now we're going down to ringside as uh, we bring you uh, adrenaline and singles action. Let's get it all underway right now. Gasoline and that charge a cord to my battery. Should I aim my hand to the kids that were laughing me and try to sit on my rapid dreams? But now it seems that that woke me up and I told myself that I won't give up. Step focus up and got pulled as fuck, so come hold my nuts to that coconut. So that rope is cut that I'm climbing on. I will hit the scene like a fire bomb, so I'm riding along and get mired on. Do the cross up in a tiger song, let me like the bomb and get fucking blaze. Bitch, I'll be back in a couple days. Sit and relax, I ain't one to play, but when I do, I score all the fucking way. See, I put on a show and attract the media, master in academia, human encyclopedia. So uh, uh, here we go then with our uh, action. Let's get things underway this week. It's the final boss taking on the assassin. And uh, hello to our subscribers watching live here, uh, streaming live over YouTube as uh, we get the action underway this week. And uh, we've had uh, quite a few changes in the EWF. Uh, I say Adrenaline is our flagship show. We've got main events. Um, and we've uh, unfortunately, we had a, a delay to the Mixed Tag Team Challenge Tournament. And that's a, a real unfortunate thing. But it's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it's not going to happen right now. Because we've still got to crown those Mixed Tag Team Champions. And uh, talking of main event, next week, 
uh, I can announce to you that there will be a vacant European EWF European Championship match between two competitors to be decided. So that title will be on the line next week and somebody will become the very first EWF European Champion on main event next week. But uh, here right now, the final boss and the assassin, and uh, you know, it's uh, the final boss and the assassin. I mean, it could be that it's the final boss against the assassin next week for the European Championship. Who knows? Who knows? This is certainly uh, the, one of the two EWF superstars that could be considered for such a title. Um, two uh, great competitors in the ring, a lot of talent, a lot of skills about these two guys, and right across the top rope there by uh, final boss I mean this man is up there with uh, some of the biggest men we've got some huge guys here in EWF right now of course a uh, purgatory black skeleton we've had uh, hell's bouncer I mean these guys are huge when you see them up close uh, in in uh, you know I don't know if anybody's ever been to a live show but to see the guys in action to see how big they are you can really then truly appreciate it So, oh, Assassin nearly went over. Well, he did go over, but he didn't quite go down to the uh, mats. But he has done now as uh, Final Boss uh, just easily climbing over those top rope there. Just he's such a, a big guy all the way over the top there. And now Final Boss really wanting to get this uh, match back into the ring as soon as he can. Flying headbutt there by Final Boss. And he wears that... Uh, mask and I'm assuming he wears it one of the reasons he wears it is to protect his forehead from that move that he uses uh, so often that flying headbutt and uh, the final boss uh, now getting ahead of steam and he covers the assassin here right now but uh, the assassin kicks out at two and he's just not quite ready to give up on this yet now as uh, the crowd here in Newark, New Jersey this week The assassin now coming back at the final boss. He's kicked out at two and he really didn't want to give up. And now he's got a the, the whole momentum, the whole thing has changed now. And now it's the assassin really trying to take on this big man. Big kick to the midsection. Wait a minute, final boss slams down. He takes down the assassin into the pinfall attempt here. The two, three, the final boss picks up the win. Well, folks, that's our first contest, and congratulations to the final boss on his victory against the Assassin. And uh, I have to say uh, that um, here in Newark this week, we've had a great day uh, getting ready for the show. And uh, Newark, New Jersey, of course, um, has played host to the EWF uh, before. So uh, we've, uh, we've really enjoyed our time here. And the schedule, of course, is on our Discord server if you want to check out where we're coming from each and every week. We've got a lot of shows lined up. Uh, for you, including EWF Academy shows now. So uh, that's a new thing uh, for us here in the European Wrestling Foundation.
So here we go then, and it's Zoolite. I think we all know the theme tune that we've just heard there. Uh, taking on Joseph Mummet here that comes out to that, uh, well, kind of bizarre uh, theme tune. So the only way that uh, I can descri uh, describe it. And, uh, but Joseph... I mean, if it was me, if I had an opinion here about how people should dress and their wrestling attire and etc, etc, I'd probably advise Joseph Mamet that the trousers and the, the jacket, the uh, business suit, is probably not the best attire to be uh, wrestling in. It's, it sounds so, it, it kind of must be restrictive, surely. I mean, and the sweat, well, let's not even go there. Um, I mean, I wear a suit to the ring when I have my, my, make announcements uh, and we do promos and segments, etc. And when I have to go to the ring and, and I feel under the lights, you know, it's kind of, it's hot really under the collar. But uh, Joseph Mamet here, he, at the moment, is really beating up Zulite the Great here. Zulite now seems to be trying to turn the tide a little bit. He's uh, pummeling down now over the mask of uh, Joseph Mamet. So both members of the Brothers in Blood in singles action here tonight. We've just seen the final boss. Now, Zulite the Great. As you can see now, Joseph Mamet go with the go-behind and the suplex right onto the back of the neck of Zulite and that is a powerful move and that can leave people feeling really dizzy and not knowing really where they are it's a powerful move and and that could give Joseph Mamet the edge here over Zulite powerbomb by Joseph and uh Zulite now picks up Ma Joseph Mamet and uh, he's got him in a well, great power slam by Zulite. Straight back up onto his feet now, dishing out the punishment. But uh, Joseph Mamet looking a little bit more impressive this week on Adrenaline. Now Zulite now. Going in the single leg, single leg Boston Crab by Zulite the Great now, and Joseph Mamet taps out. Zulite picks up the win.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations go out there to Zulite the Great. And I have to say uh, an announcement really up, up front. I've already made uh, one announcement about main event uh, next week. But on Adrenaline next week, it will be Sharky Waters defending the EWF Rising Star Championship against none other than Zulite the Great. And that's going to be a title match next week. On Adrenaline, folks, and that is going to be a great match. I can't wait to see it. So, Sharky Waters in his alter ego now as the Rising Star Champion taking on Zulite in a title match. That will be coming up next week on Adrenaline. So it's uh, Raymond E. Madison taking on uh, Black Skeleton, and uh, I must say that uh, you know Black Skeleton is and not one of those guys I was talking about earlier on. We were talking about Final Boss and Black Skeleton, and Purgatory and big guys, but Black Skeleton up up close and personal is not a place you want to be because. Uh, He's an unpredictable character, a character to say the least. Um, and he's winning matches left, right and centre. And, uh, well, Raymond, Raymond Madison, wait a minute, he's caught uh, Black Skeleton in that sleeper hold. He's trying to, trying to, uh, but look at the strength of Black Skeleton there, throwing him over. And that is not going to please Black Skeleton too much, really. That's not going to, uh, I don't think it is. That's really... <laughs> As if a light bulb moment has sprung Black Skeleton into action here. And he picks up Raymond E. Madison, slams him down. 
one of those uh, running power power slams and now just really manhandling Raymond D. Madison. Look at Skeleton there. Look at the aggression in him. I know sometimes it's hard to tell with uh, people that wear masks and face paint, etc. Truly what is going on behind there, but uh, believe me, I don't think we need to really... I don't think it leaves much to the imagination. Oh, look at this now. He's tied him up. He's choking him on the top rope there, and... Uh, Referee just keeping a close eye on it. Uh, he's got the count there. He's got to, that he can use, but uh, Black Skeleton will do anything that he can to pick up the win, and that's the thing. So the referee's got his work cut out here. Look at those big knees! Lifts it right up there in the face of Raymond D. E. Uh, Madison, and another headbutt for the uh, just for good measure. I mean, look at if you look at the way that uh, Black Skeleton is controlling this match now. He's just picking apart Raymond D. E. Madison uh, piece by piece, and he's going for the cover now. But Raymond, Raymond D. E. Madison. Well, I think Black Black Skeleton felt it might have been three, and uh, he's just asking the referee there maybe. You know whether he can count to three, and uh, so more headbutts now for Raymond D. Madison from Black Skeleton. Sidewalk slam and off, man. That's that's going to hurt with this this big guy landing on you there like that. It really is. Now. Skeleton now with those big gloves he's got on his hands there and he's got him in the corner now and Skeleton lifts up uh, Madison and drops him face first onto the top turnbuckle and Madison is staggering and now Black Skeleton lifts him up and a choke slam down on the canvas I think Raymond E. Madison's probably thinking now maybe he should have just stayed down you know after that first pinfall attempt by Skeleton because of the amount of treatment that has followed from that and here we go now two three and Black Skeleton picks up the win As you can see there and uh, I'm just looking at the as you well we've just cut away from the arena picture but um, Raymond D. Madison uh, is being helped back to the backstage area by the referee and uh, some other officials from ringside here I think he took a bit of a what we call a pasting uh, here in the UK or a beat well I don't know maybe I don't know how, how anybody else would describe it really but um, anyone that steps in the ring against somebody like that is gonna really <laughs> Feel it, let's put it that way. And coming right up next, folks, it's uh, six man tag team action as uh, Daniel Leslie and uh, Joey Landon and uh, uh, Billy Boston take on Aaron and Dean Santos and Troy Blackwell. Six man tag team action coming up next on Adrenaline.
just uh, coming out first, Joey Landon, uh, just to start things off here. Now, we know that Joey has a request that he doesn't want to come out to any music, so uh, no music gets played on Joey Land Landon's entrance. So he's the first one to come out, and I believe he will be followed by the executioner, Daniel Leslie, very shortly. A lot of opportunity for these guys this week on our flagship television show, Adrenaline, just to show everybody what they're all about, what they're capable of.
So six man tag team action now and all six men um, as I said at the start really have got an opportunity here to prove something to the EWF universe here in this match and uh, every single one of them yeah a good performance or an exceptional win or you know anything really a, a move that just a moment that just changes the course of the match will propel these guys uh, in their careers to no end so Aaron there as you can see taking on Joey Landon to start things off in this six-man tag team uh, match here on adrenaline in Newark New Jersey this week Course, uh, Joey teaming up with the execution of Daniel Leslie there in the mask, the black and the white mask, and the newcomer Billy Boston, and of course Aaron Troy Blackwell, who's just made his entrance there, coming down with the leather jacket and the uh, shades, and Dean Santos. And Dean Santos has been with us for a while. They're both reaching out for the tag, and I think it was Troy. Blackwell that ended up getting, but everybody got caught up in the ropes there. And I think Troy Blackwell kicked half the ropes and half of Joey Landon, and everybody ended up having to uh, come off the edge of the apron. But uh, so far, no harm done, and you can see Aaron still recovering on the outside whilst Troy takes over in the ring against Joey Landon. And again, a lot of people tend to, I mean, we say running out of space or maybe not being, having that spatial awareness or whereabouts they are in the ring. Uh, but throwing somebody into the ropes and they get tangled up is a devastating move. Believe me, to get tangled up in steel ropes, steel cable, that's what it is. So Landon now, close line there on Troy. And Landon, and he catches uh, Troy uh, Blackwell in that uh, neck breaker there. And again, the other thing that we, we're listening out for is the crowd's reaction to these EWF superstars, because uh, what they're doing is showing their appreciation or otherwise of the action that you're seeing in the ring, and also it's about the personality and the character and the success of the superstar in the ring. So Troy Blackwell has got uh, Joey Landon pretty much trapped in, in no man's land here in the opposite side of the corner that he wants to be in and now Dean Santos being given a chance to come in now, double kick, now kick right to the face as Santos comes in and now Daniel Leslie comes in against Dean Santos. takes down Dean Santos and I know that Leslie could do with a win here this week as well if he picks up the pinfall or the submission victory in this match and now as you can see Santos being stopped on by Daniel Leslie now <laughs> there's a lot of crowd are not happy with uh, what Daniel Leslie is doing the way he's going about his business here this week Uh, 
Leslie now with a forearm to the side of the head now. Santos down to his knees. Another one following through. Dean Santos trying to battle his way out of that position that he's in there right over in the other corner. Slams Daniel Leslie over now and a, and a European uppercut then following on. Wow. Great move by Santos there now. And now we're seeing the more experienced Dean Santos now trying to wrestle his way out of this, trying to regain the... Uh, momentum in this match now slap across the face just a little bit of a disrespect there by Santos and uh, locking the the arm in here the referee asking if Daniel Wesley wants to give up but the uh, the hip toss there counters the move Like a little bit of a low blow, and now break of the eyes by Leslie now, and and that's breaking the rules. And uh, the referee might want to keep a closer eye on that one. Covered by Daniel Leslie. Now we get to two, and uh, I think Aaron uh, came into the ring right there and uh, broke up the count. And look at Leslie again, raking the face, but he slams Santos down, picks him up by the throat. Into another pinfall now. Aaron trying to get in there again to break up the pinfall. And once again, manages to do that. And this crowd here in Newark, New Jersey, really not happy with the action they're seeing in the ring. And I I can't quite make out. They're all on their feet, giving a thumbs down, and I just can't see who in particular it is that they're not happy with. Pile driver by Santos. Devastating move. Now Santos now. Looks like he might be... Trying for the pinfall victory, referee, but Leslie kicks out of it there. Leslie not quite ready to give up yet. Now dying to get the tag, Joey Landon comes back in again, and, and as yet, we have not seen uh, Billy Boston in action. Point yet now, and uh, I'm sure Billy will do everything he can to get into this match. He was reaching out for the tag just there. Jerry Landon rolling to the outside. Dean Santos saying, Come on, up you get, get out, get back up into this ring. But that's what Jerry Landon was waiting for. He waited for Dean Santos to come off the apron and then hit him with a drop kick and, La and Joey Landon is uh, stomping down on the hand of Dean Santos and uh, this match is on the brink of getting out of control here on the outside referee to five six and now on the outside now Billy Boston jumps down and uh, well, he just gives everybody a little bit of time to recompose themselves here. Landon's out of it. Landon is completely out of it. And Billy Boston tried to get to Dean Santos there, but wasn't able to do that. Swinging neck breaker on the outside by Santos. He's up to six now. Seven, Seven and uh, Santos dumps Joey Landon on the mats. Eight, and now there could be count out here if we're not careful. 
This could be a count out on Dean Santos and Joe and both teams could be counting out and then counting out now and Santos and Joey landed on the outside taking it a little bit too far and that has resulted in a double team count out result here for the six man tag team match and uh, I don't know what to suggest really but uh, you know EWF superstars should have the awareness to get back into that ring when they're on the outside and actually Santos did it he broke the count the first time but it didn't happen the second time and that's the problem that when we get outside we've got to remember that maybe the crowd are making too many they were booing loudly there was a lot of boos and thumbs down on that match and I just could not work out who was getting the boos it was I thought it started off with Daniel Leslie but then somebody else came in so I don't know maybe you know maybe you know who it was but folks coming up next we've got singles action as Theodore Skullmaster takes on uh, Blake Lennon. That action uh, coming right up next. go it's uh, Theodore Skullmaster um, the man that's been attracting a lot of attention to himself now taking on Blake Lennon this week now uh, and um, Theodore unfortunately well I say unfortunately it's just the way he is really the way he promotes himself but uh, he uh, he's attracted a lot of attention backstage you know, let, let's just put it that way and uh, one, one of these guys uh, well, it was Zulite as well, and I think there was some somebody last week, um, and then Blake Lennon as well is another guy. So these, it's, it's a fair few guys. Let's put it that way. They kind of want to get their hands on Teodor Skullmaster, but the guy maybe you could describe the fact that so many people want to do that that he's doing his job. 
you know, he's, he's actually achieving what he's setting out to achieve, which is just getting under people's skin and winning titles and breaking people's necks. Because that's what he wants to do. You know, he's saying that, that you know, putting people on the shelf, um, taking them out of action, is just a way to propel his own career um, back into... Because I know that, uh, I mean, he want nothing more than get his hands back on that EWF Rising Star Championship, Theodore. The other thing as well is that probably probably thinks that he's, you know, probably up there to be an EWF World Champion. You know, he, he, probably, he would argue that he is good enough in that ring and on that microphone to be an EWF World Champion. So uh, Blake Lennon then with the go-behind on uh, Theodore takes him down now into Suplex City. Blake Lennon very, very accomplished indeed. We've seen him in many, many matches here in the EWF. And he's now trying to make uh, Theodore tap out. But Theodore over the top there. Nice move. Nice escape by Theodore Skullmaster there. up there by Theodore. The snap suplex takes over Blake Lennon. And while I think of it folks, there is going to be a major announcement after the show uh, with regards to the main event on Adrenaline next week. Uh, a mystery uh, match is being made as we speak and it is going to be a big one. It is going to be a big, big, massive announcement about the main event next week. So tune in after the show and keep uh, have a look at the listings and the schedules to see uh, and you will find out next week big main event on Adrenaline. So Theodore basically kicking the taking the boots to Blake Lennon and he's on the outside now. Theodore Skullmaster wants to try and wear down Blake Lennon on the outside, on the mats, on the hard mats. With nothing but concrete really underneath them. So whatever you do out there, kicks, suplexes, whatever, it's going to hurt. It's going to leave a mark. Blake Lennon now with a head of steam. He's got the motivation now. He's trying to do anything he can to win this match against uh, Theodore Skullmaster, but he's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve as Theodore. And Blake Lennon now coming back at Theodore. Wait a minute. Skullmaster dumps him straight down on top of the head. On top of the head there. Straight down. And Theodore Skullmaster picks up the win. One. One, two. Check me out right here, yo. Yo, the sun don't shine forever, but as track long track as it's here, then we might as well shine together. Oh, better head. now than never, business like before it. pleasure. Be Diddy in the fam, who you know do it better. Yeah, right, no matter what, be yeah, in tight. Yeah. So when you hear something, make sure you hear it right. Don't make an yeah. ass out of yourself, my mind is moving. I'm the one that keeps you moving. What are you chewing? You know that yeah. I'm two levels above you, baby. Well, there we go, folks. You saw it, that move that we've seen uh, so many, many times before. And, uh, well, it's, it's, uh, 
it's unfortunately the end tonight for Blake Lennon, but he'll be back nonetheless. I know the kind of guy he is, and he just he'll come straight back next week into action. So the tag team action coming up next as Dead Man's Hand and newly announced member Ryan Sanders teams up with his brother Ace Sanders to take on Gunnar Garrett and the UWF World Champion uh, Jose No. That's coming right up next, folks. So starting things off then this week, Gunnar Garrett taking on uh, Ace Sanders and his brother Ryan on the outside. Gunnar Garrett, who we have, uh, you know, took a, a short break of action and uh, he's come back with vengeance, with a vengeance, should I say, straight back into the action now. In the main event here on Adrenaline, tag team action. And it really doesn't get any better than this. So uh, now... As you can see, teaming up with the EWF World Champion Jose No on the outside. And uh, 
Captain of Garrett now. I mean, you heard what he said last week. He's made it very clear why he did what he did at uh, Clash of Christmas. Um, he explained everything. You know, it's it really shouldn't be left to the imagination. He's been very explicit, very clear about why he did it, why he attacked members of Dead Man's Hand. And, of course, now he's made enemies all over the place, you know, certainly with these two guys. So... Uh, now look at Ryan, though, desperate to get in there, and Ryan uh, Sanders now tagged in by Ace. So he comes straight in there, and look at he can't wait to get his hands on Gunnar Garrett. And Garrett now hammering back on the shoulder blade there, coming straight back. These guys are going back and forth, and there's uh, going to be a lot going on now within these next few weeks. Uh, Dead Man's Hand really being restructured as we speak. now working over Ryan Sanders and uh, he's uh, taking things very slowly and methodically that's the way he works he likes to measure his opponent he likes to work out what the best moves are to use and an arm bar could be one of them trying to make uh, Ryan uh, tap out there but uh, Ryan managing to roll through and then escape the move Dead man's hand now, the, the Sanders brothers, Ryan and Ace Sanders, taking on Gunnar Garrett in the ring right now. And Garrett now with his foot on the rope there. And uh, wait a minute, Garrett drops uh, Ryan down onto his uh, knee. And there's another tag coming in, and I think uh, yeah, Ace is coming right back in now. Misses with a clothesline, and Gunnar Garrett, nice, goes underneath Ace Sanders there. And uh, Ace Sanders on the outside, he's a, legal, he's a legal guy, comes back into the ring. Again, now the armbar working on that shoulder joint now, and Gunnar Garrett pulling right back on that shoulder joint there, trying for the submission now. And now Jose No. EWF World Champion gets into the action now, going up against Ace Sanders. And uh, now Jose No really hasn't really had a lot to do with this rivalry between uh, Gunnar Garrett and uh, Dead Man's Hand or anybody else for that matter. He's just been quietly getting on with his business, you know, winning matches or trying to win matches and defending that title when he needs to. Now look at Jose, he's poised, poised to hit something against Ace Sanders here. Drops him down, wait a minute. He, oh, I thought he, yes he is, he's going to try some kind of manoeuvre here. Figure four. Figure four and Ace Sanders and in comes Ryan to try and break the hole, break the move. And rescues his brother and instead Jose turns it into a pinfall attempt and again... Ryan Sanders comes in the match to break that pinfall attempt and it looks like Ace is in trouble here. Oh, flying elbow off the top rope and he misses completely and Ace Sanders comes right back on the elbow. And now it's Ace Sanders' turn again in the middle of the ring with the one, two, three, but Jose kicks out on two. Seeing some great action here in our main event on Adrenaline this week. Jose with the knee following up again now. 
with uh, Ace Sanders. This match could go either way, folks, as we watch this unfolding in front of us. And a great move there. Jose No creates some space in between him and Ace Sanders to get that move hooked in there. And now look at look at Jose. He's got Ace Sanders above his head and he drops him face first down. And so far, I have to say, both of these guys, these two tag teams, have been working extremely well together. Very well as a team. Ace Sanders now with another cover on Jose No, the champion that is. Two! And he kicks out two and a half. Ace Sanders can't believe it. He was so close to putting the EWF world champion. Huge kick there by Ace Sanders. Sanders now opening up on Jose No. And Ace Sanders, well, he's missing the... That's the problem with celebrating. Missing there as Jose rolls over to Gunnar Garrett and tags in his uh, tag team partner for the match. And Ace Sanders missed a the trick there behind uh, the back of Ace Sanders. Is Ace Sanders be able to get the pin? Wait a minute, on Gunnar Garrett, too! But Gunnar Garrett kicks out. Huge coastline by Ace Sanders. Who well, I must admit has performed extremely well. This could be very well the biggest match he's ever had. Two, three, and Dead Man's Hand pick up the victory. gentlemen what a great victory by dead man's hand over gonna garrett and jose no folks we will be in action again next sunday for ewf adrenaline join us then for another great show thanks for watching and uh, good night